hello students welcome back to engineers academy those who are new to my channel they must subscribe my channel for such more videos now we are going to solve this problem which says that the lever is attached to the shaft a using a key that has a width d and length 25 mm so here we have this square key which has uh, this width d and into the page is the length right so here we have 25 mm length of this key so we are required to find this dimension d width if the shaft is fixed and a vertical force of 200 newton force is applied perpendicular to the handle so 200 newton force is applied perpendicular to the handle and it is said that determine the dimension d if the allowable shear stress for the key is 35 megapascal so what we need to do is first of all we need to find the force which is applied on the key and then we have to find uh, that dimension d so as you guys can see that 200 newton force is applied on the handle perpendicular and what this 200 newton force is going to produce a clockwise torque about this point o and since um, this shaft is fixed so what it, this 200 newton uh, force will produce a torque and as a result there will be a force on this key in this direction because this 200 newton force is producing the uh, the clockwise torque and in order to balance that torque there will be a force uh, which will be acting perpendicular to the shaft sorry which will be acting tangent to the shaft and which will be going to produce the torque or the moment in the opposite direction of this 200 newton force so if we apply the sum of the moment about point O, that must be equals to zero. Counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive. Now, as you guys can see that this force F, which is uh, applied on this key, is going to produce the counterclockwise moment. So we will write that this F is producing the counterclockwise moment, which is positive. Multiply by the moment arm. So the moment arm of this force F from that point O is this distance, which is the radius of this shaft which is 20 mm so 20 divided by 1000 is we want to convert these uh, mm units into meters so 20 divided by 1000 is 0.02 meters and that 200 newton force is producing this is producing the clockwise moment so we will write minus 200 and the moment arm of this 200 newton force from that point o is this distance which is given here which is 500 mm so 500 divided by 1000 is 0 0.5 in meters and this is equal to 0. So from this we can say that force F which is applied on the key is plus 200 into 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.02. This gives us F equals to 5000. You guys can see this gives us 200 into 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.02 this is equal to 5000 in newton so now if we pass a cutting section since we want to find the width d of the key so if i pass a cutting section somewhere here so then we will be able to expose the area on which uh, the shear stress is acting or which is exposed to the shear stress so let's say now we pass a cutting section on a key so we will have the free body diagram like this So now that force F is acting somewhere here, which has a magnitude of 5000 Newton. And we have passed a cutting section here. You guys can see somewhere here, I have passed a cutting section. So this somewhere is my cutting section AA, let's say. So we can say that at cut section AA, let's say we have the shear force, which is acting in this direction. So let's say this is shear force V. So if we apply the sum of the forces in the x, if we consider this free body diagram, so if we apply the sum of the forces in the x, that must be equals to zero. Towards the right is our positive x. So we can say that V is in the positive x and F is in the negative x. And this is equal to zero and the shear force is equal to 5000 Newton. Now we know that uh, the the allowable shear stress is 35 megapascal so we can say that t allowable 
this is equal to V divided by the area along which the shear stress is acting. So the area along which the shear stress is acting is this particular area. Since the key is having length into the screen as well. So we can say that this area is this width which is D times this length which is 25 mm. So we can say that this area is, we can say that the shear area is D times length and D we have to find D and length is we can say length is 25 mm so 25 divided by 1000 is 0 0.025 into D so this is the length and this is D so now we can say here that in this equation the shear force is 5000 the area is 0 0.025 meters this is in me uh, this is the force is in newton we want to find d this is equal to 35 mega pascal so 35 into 10 raised to the power 6 is mega and pascal is newton per meter square so now on both sides of equation newton will cancel out and meter will cancel out and we can say that uh, we will be left with 5000 divided by 0 0.025 D and this is 35 into 10 raised to the power 6 divided by meter right or we can say 1 over meters and if I multiply both sides with meters then we will have meter here and this will cancel out as well so we are having the units like this and since we want to find this D we have to divide both sides equation by this 35 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 6 so rearranging this equation we can say that d is equal to 5000 divided by 0 0.025 into 35 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 and this units will be in meters so now you guys can see that 5000 divided by 0 0.025 multiplied by 35 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 so this D is equal to 0 0.005714 meters. And if you want to convert it into millimeters, we have to multiply this answer with 1000. So this gives us D is equal to 5.714 millimeters. So in order to have the allowable shear stress in the key, the width of the key must be 5.714 mm. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibler.